Hello, my name is Stephen Tracy. I'm an information technology professional specializing in systems administration and technical writing. I use my creativity and problem solving skills to provide technical solutions that fit business needs and increase efficiency. I'm a quick, efficient worker that will approach a problem from multiple angles in order to find a solution. If I sound like somebody that you'd be interested in adding to your organization, please don't hesitate to contact me. My contact info is located below this video. If you're relatively new to DDWRT, or you've never heard of it, you may be wondering what exactly it is. DDWRT is a Linux-based router firmware that replaces the pre-installed firmware on your router. DDWRT's main advantage over pre-installed router firmware is that it provides great functionality and a clean interface along with many useful added features. Today I'll be showing you how to install DDWRT on a Linksys router. The materials that we'll be using today for this tutorial are a Linksys WRT54G version 2 router, an Ethernet cable, a pen, and of course a computer. Before we begin installing DDWRT, we need to download a copy of the software. To do so, enter dd-wrt.com into your web browser and click enter. The main page will open up and you'll see a button here that says Router Database. Click on it and here's where we can see all the different types of routers that DDWRT runs on. So for this tutorial I'm using a Linksys WRT54G router. The version that I have is version 2 so I'm going to click on this link and you can see right here all the different types of DDWRT that are available for this router. Under additional information, it says that these units seem to run more stable with the Vint builds, so I'm going to download a Vintage build. The Vintage build that I'm going to download for this demonstration is Micro, so I'm going to click on it. It's going to ask me to save it somewhere, so I'm going to save it onto my desktop for later use. Now we're going to do something called a 30-30-30 reset in order to reset your router. Here's how you do it. And you got this little button right here. It says reset above it. It's kind of orangish. So you're going to poke the pen in the hole and push the button until you feel the button go in as far as it can. So you're going to hold it like that for 30 seconds. You're going to hold it for a total of 90 seconds overall, but the first 30 seconds you're going to have the power in. So hold it for 30 seconds. And then you're going to pull this power out right here. So there's no power coming to the router. So you're going to sit like that for another 30 seconds. So it'll be a total of 60 seconds so far. 30 with the power, 30 without the power. After 60 seconds are up, you put the power right back in there. So the router's getting power now, and you're going to keep it like that for another 30 seconds. You're still holding the reset button. So again, you're holding the reset button for a total of 90 seconds overall. 30 with the power, 30 without the power, 30 with the power. And then after 90 seconds are up, you just release the reset button, and that's a 30-30-30 reset. After you're done with a 30-30-30 reset, you should wait about 15 to 20 seconds, and then you need to power cycle the router, which is simply unplugging the power cord from the router for 30 seconds, and then plugging it back in. The next step is to make sure that the router and the computer are connected together, and that the router is plugged into the power source. First, check to make sure that the router is plugged into the power source by verifying that the green power light is on on the front of the router. Next, make sure that the router and the computer are connected together by verifying that the Ethernet cable is plugged into the Ethernet port of the computer and one of the four LAN ports of the router. After you have finished performing the 30-30-30 hard reset of your router and you've also power cycled the router, it's time to access the Linksys administration console. To do this, open up a web browser and type 192.168.1.1 in the browser bar. Press enter. You should be prompted for a username and password. The username is going to be left blank, so don't enter anything. And the password is admin. A-D-M-I-N. Click OK. You should see the Linksys Administration Console. If you don't see the Linksys Administration Console, or you see a page that says management mode, 
you need to go back and perform the 30 30 30 hard reset of your router again. Also power cycle the router and then perform the steps that I just listed. The next step is to upgrade from the Linksys firmware, which is what you're viewing right now, to the actual DDWRT firmware. So from the Linksys administrative console, which is what you're viewing right now, click on administration, firmware upgrade, and then click this little browse button right here to go find that DDWRT firmware which we downloaded earlier. So I saved it on my desktop, so it's right here under DDWRT. Click open, and then I'm going to click upgrade. It's going to take a little while, so I need to just wait. And as you can see, it says that the upgrade is successful. I sped up the video a little bit, but you should see this within one or two minutes three at the max um, after you click on upgrade. So you click on continue here. If your upgrade was successful you should be able to navigate now back to 192.168.1.1 in your web browser and it should pull up the DDWRT control panel as you can see it says that the firmware is DDWRT version 24 SP2 micro and the last step here that you're going to want to do to complete the firmware upgrade is you're going to need to power cycle your router again so you're just going to unplug the power from the back of the router for 30 seconds and then plug it back in and you should be able to access the DDWRT control panel again through 192.168.1.1 after watching this video tutorial you should now know how to install DDWRT on a Linksys router for more information on how to configure your new DDWRT firmware, please visit dd-wrt.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video, and I hope you learned something.